Welcome back to part two of how to create this MD5 login, um, and we are on now the check PHP page. So get rid of all this. Enter PHP page. Um, we're just going to we need to require the um, connect.php, um, and we're just going to create a few variables here first. Um, Password is equal to dollar underscore post, and this is going to get the password the user has entered, and we called it password. I'm sure we did. Yeah, name is password. Um, so another variable we're going to create is a password. Password ENC is for encryption. So this is where we're going to um, encrypt the password the user has entered. So password. Um, okay, and now we're going to get the password from get the MD5 password from the database. This is going to uh, it's going to create a query here, and we're going to have select all from passwords. I think we call it passwords. So it's off and pass. So okay, so now I'm just going to create a while loop. This is going to basically get uh, get the password. So row equals my SQL underscore fetch underscore sock and this is just going to say get underscore password and in the while loop we're going to create um, a new password this is called new variable sorry this is db underscore password for database password um, and this is going to equal the row variable pass and um, so now we've uh, got the password from the database we've got the MD5 um, we've converted the password the user has entered into MD5 so now all we have to do is compare the two to see if they are the same so come down here and um, we'll go to create an if statement so if So if password enc is equal to db underscore password, then we're going to run this block of code here. So then we're going to say, it's going to echo out here, correct password. Else. So if the password if the password is not correct, if it's not the same, we're just going to echo out here. Incorrect password. So uh, let's run this script now and see if it works. So refresh this. And if I enter a password, if I enter tutorial, login, we've got correct password. If I enter something other than tutorial, we get incorrect password and that's basically just how to um, log in and compare to um, MD5 hash to see if the user has entered the right password this is what um, you would have to do if you're creating um, a secure login page um, because in databases you must have all passwords encrypted um, so yeah, and we, one last thing we need to change is put this from a text to a password field and refresh, and that's what we get there. Password field. So um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another tutorial.